Hey everyone, how's it growing? Miss Simon here again for another garden lesson. Today we will be making leaf critter art. So it's a form of nature art where we will be collecting materials from the garden, mostly off the ground. So think dried leaves, petals, twigs, things of that sort. And we will arrange them onto a piece of paper or cardboard or old grocery bag um, and then glue or tape them down to create a critter. So I'm gonna make mine into a beetle, but you can also do any animal you would like. So what you'll need today is your Cook Grow journal. If you don't have your journal, that's okay. You can also just use a blank piece of paper, an old grocery bag, an old cardboard box, whatever you have on hand. And you're gonna need some glue or tape to glue down our collected items. All right, so I'm gonna take a walk through the garden and show you what I pick up and we'll go from there. I'm gonna focus on collecting things from the ground. I was raking up these leaves earlier and I really like the reddish color on them. So I'm gonna take a few of these. I do recommend bringing a bag or an envelope with you um, to store your collected items in. It's helpful to think about the body parts of your critter. So I know that beetles have six legs, so I'm gonna collect some twigs that I can use for those six legs. So now that I've collected my materials from the garden, I'm going to sort them into categories. You can sort them however you would like, but I'm gonna do it by material. So I'm gonna put things together that are made of the same stuff. So I'm going to put these long skinny leaves together. I'm going to put my red crunchy leaves together. I'll put these delicate green leaves over here. And all my twigs can go together here. And then we'll put the colorful things together. Um, flowers and such. So this is just one way of sorting. You can do it by size, by shape, by color really whatever you feel works for you. I'm gonna use a pencil to help get my critter on paper before I get gluing. So since I'm doing a beetle, I'm gonna start off by making a head like this. They also have a thorax, but you don't have to be super anatomically correct when we're doing these art projects. So I'm gonna put the abdomen here, this, I'm gonna draw where I want my six legs to go. My beetle's gonna have a couple eyes and two antenna. So it might be a little hard to see in the sunlight, but I've made my drawing and now I'm gonna start to glue.
One of my favorite things about doing nature art is that any materials I didn't use can go back into nature. So I'm gonna compost mine. You can throw yours back onto the ground or the garden or wherever you got them. I hope you enjoy making your leaf critter and I would love to see, I lost an antenna. I would love to see photos of your creations. See you next time.